trade secret or whatever, do you have some necessary, again, know that anyone that is doing any work for you, please be sure and be certain that the, whether or not it, the person has been paid, the IP belongs to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, another thing I would like to talk about real quick um, is the, the difference between trademark registration and company registration. Now, for a lot of people, businesses, I mean, I think people are very aware about this company affairs, corporate affairs commission, the company's regist, regist, um, registrar. People go there and register their company, whether it's a partnership, an incorporated company, and so on and so forth. And once you've registered it, you just assume that, oh, I'm sorted. However, it's important to know the fact that you've registered your company doesn't remove the fact that you still have to register your trademark to have exclusive rights to it. Yes, it's very possible that you could use a particular name, acquire some level of um, distinctiveness with it. What that simply means is that acquire some level of goodwill, you know, and renown with that name or logo or, or sign or whatever. And, and so that everyone recognizes that it's yours and you could maybe go to enforce the rights through passing off in court. But under our laws, where you register your trademark, you have exclusive rights to that trademark. So it's more important for anyone that has a trademark that is important to him or her to register that trademark at the registry because all you need to prove to show to prove ownership of it is your certificate of registration. Same thing for goes for patents as well. So it's important to know that it's not just registering your company name, you also need to register your trademark. The fact you registered your company doesn't mean your trademark is protected. It doesn't necessarily mean that your trademark is protected. And then I